Hello, Cancer, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin, and Cancer, today is November 22nd, 2023, and we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now, Cancer. Let's talk about you. Let's see what's being hidden, what's coming down the chute. Maybe you're silver lining to something you're going through. Let's talk about you, baby. Spirit guides, what up with the Cancer Collective? Well, we got some change coming through. We got a change in the wind. All right, let's talk about this change. Hopefully it's some positive change, some good change, some good news on the way. Let's chat about this. And Kanta, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. And just remember, Cancer, I charge $30 per reading and they are sent in two to four business days. So always check your spam to make sure you're not waiting longer than you need to. Okay. That's Queen of Wands. Could be with the Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with the Virgo. The Fool for me is always Aries. So we have the Hermit. This is what you need to know right now. We have the Fool. How this is going to affect you. We have the Three of Cups, baby. That's your advice or what you need to hear. So let's talk about this Hermit. There's a little bit of, um, well, spiritual growth, spiritual evolution here with this Hermit. Inner Gnosis, trusting yourself. There's a little bit of withdrawal energy. What's this Hermit energy here for Kansa? What do we need to know right now about this Hermit energy? Maybe you've been doing a lot of thinking. Let's find out. We have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's some healing here. Um, the Six of Swords. There's the Six of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. It feels strategy. There's a set. The uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say set. I don't know why. But there's the sun. I think there's been a lot of growth. The sun and the hermit is really a uh, very spiritual connection. Um, but I feel it's like a connection with yourself here. Really knowing who you are, really becoming self-aware, you know, know thyself because, you know, knowledge is king. And when you know thyself, you can do anything. <gasps> that's black eyed peas. That's my little rap for you. I really do love the black eyed peas, <laughs> but irrelevant. Um, I see you're moving forward after some deep healing has taken place here. The six of pentacles tells me that you're really not giving to this. It tells me you may have come across some, some takers here, cancer, you know, you're cancer, you're intuitive, you're an empath, chances are. Um, and chances are you might have found someone who uh, wasn't quite coming to a place of integrity. I feel with the seven of swords here, you might have come across some sneaky ass foxes, some sly ass motherfuckers, or um, you're just being strategic here. I do. I really just feel like it's coming out of hermit mode. It's healing. It's moving forward. The six of swords is my spiritual test and transition card. So there's been some kind of ending, but the ten of swords is in reverse. So the healing has taken place from this ending. I feel you're coming out of this, in, this growth mode, this hermit mode, um, and you're moving forward here because how it's going to affect you is the fool, baby. And the fool is a fresh start, new beginning, taking a leap of faith. That you know, the queen of wands, I kind of feel is your energy. You could be, um, you could have fire in your chart, but I really feel like it's stepping into the queendom, um, which is a really weird thing for me to say. Kingdom, if you're a dude out there. Um, but the queen of wands is very charismatic. She takes control. She goes after what she wants, right? And I feel that's what you're doing here. Uh, what's, what's the fool energy here for cancer? Whoa. There's a king of wands. Okay. It could be a love relationship connection coming through. I didn't see that twist and turn coming here. Uh, <clears throat> I was feeling something in my throat. My apologies. I need some wokta. We have, well, damn. We have the ten of pentacles. We have the king of wands. We have the star. We have the judgment in reverse. And we have the empress. Somebody recognizes your value, baby. Could be this king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy in the house. We have uh, Aquarius energy in the house. Um... You might have doubted that you might find your person. And you know, I do get that in my personal readings a lot, right? Am I ever going to find true love? Are they ever going to come? And you, when you're manifesting this, this is what I learned from Florence Scovelshin's, um, you know, The Game of Life and How to Win at It. One of my favorite books. I've read it like 30,000 times. Not that many times. I'm an exaggerator, but I've read it a lot. Um, and when we're ma manifesting and creating a new beginning for ourselves, we want to just let the universe know we trust in their energy and we're going to wait for the right person at the right time. And we trust Mother Sophia. We trust the divine um, and what I feel is there was this doubt that it was going to happen, but you've put your face in the divine. You were just focusing on yourself and typically cancer, right? Like the old saying goes, when you're not focusing on love, booyah, that's when love comes through. Now this might not be love for all of you. This could be finances, but for those of you where this is love, this person sees your value. They see you're compatible. They see you as their life partner. We have the empress here. They recognize who you are, baby. The empress. Press. And the Empress is very much a mother figure as well, or father figure if you're a dude. But if someone who's abundant, someone who's confident in themselves, someone who makes things happen, they want 10 plus years. They want long-term potential. And there's the wish, the wish come true, dream fulfillment. This person's taking a leap of faith and they're coming to sweep you off your feet here. And the judgment in reverse just tells me you might have been doubting that this was ever going to happen. Um, now, 
for those of you where this is not love or this is business, because I really was getting kind of like a business feeling here, but it's, it's going to go both ways for everybody, right? Um, you have a really excellent opportunity coming. It could be a business partner offering you a contract. It could just be, this could be just the boss or HR, or someone coming and giving you a job, but someone that you work well with. Um, Ten of Pentacles, uh, we all know what this means. These are money, money, money. This is a lot of stability, a lot of foundation, uh, a huge increase in your finances if you've been worried about this, but this is your dream job. The, the star is here. You took the time to heal. You know what you want to do. You're the Empress, baby, and the Empress is a master manifester. She makes things happen, but we also have that butterfly here, which is a lot of transformation. So there is a lot of transformational change here in your energy. Cancer, things might have been a little bit slow here with the hermit, but things are picking up. And there's the three of cups. This is love. You're dating. You're having fun. You're going out. You're enjoying each other's company. You're getting to know each other. And if this is business, oh, you'd be celebrating, baby. You got the golden crown here. So you love this opportunity. You're going to be quite happy. Pop the champagne, pop the booty, or just, you know, have some bubble tea. If that's what you like, everybody's different. Everybody's different. I'm a tea person myself. I drink my mullen tea every night. Um, but that's because I used to smoke in my twenties and I just want my lungs to be healthy. So I make sure I heal my lungs. I'm a paranoid ass motherfucker. Um, but either way, you're having fun. You're celebrating no matter what's going on. That's what you need to know. If things were slow, things are going to progress quite quickly here. Good opportunities coming through. You're going to be celebrating, baby. you going to be celebrating. Okay. Okay, so that's what I got here. That's what I got. So let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot and we'll see how you're doing in a month. Spirit guides. What is it, Cancer? You need to surrender to when it comes to this change. That was really shifting my tone, eh? <laughs> All right. Ah, receiving support and love. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and it can simultaneously nurture you. Okay. You know, I find that's a defense mechanism. Those people who are very independent, they don't like asking for help. It's because people disappointed you in the past, but not everybody will disappoint you. There are good people out there. There's lots of them. You just got to find them. Uh, what is the lesson here for Kansa? Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Okie dokie, smoky. Let's grab your energy oracle. Let's see what they want to say, baby. Let's see what they want to say. Spirit guides. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, energy oracle message for the Kansas Collective. Man holding a heart. Ooh, and we have contract. Okie dokie. And one more here. Yeah, envy. Hmm. Okay, and what's under envy? I want the world. Wow. So the envy is really about looking at yourself and not other people. We live in a world where people just show the, the good parts of their life. You go to their social media and they're just smiling, laughing all the time. But that's not reality for the majority of us. We just don't show people the sad times, <laughs> the sad part of ourselves. So this is just a message to keep the eye on the prize, which is you. Uh, look at things from a positive perspective. Everybody has ups and downs in their life. Everybody has challenges and changes. We are all human. We're all going through the same thing at different times. Um, the man holding a heart does represent, I mean, for some of you, this could be love. Um, a masculine energy, you know, putting their heart out there for you. Um, and there's the contract. So there could be a soul contract or it could be something that leads to marriage. And for those of you where this is business is the masculine energy offering you a contract, offering you a job, offering you something that's going to create the balance and some change in your life. Um, so keep your eye on the prize because the world is here and the world is about networking. It's about, um, socializing. It's about connections, but really it's knowing that the world is at your hands. You can do anything that you want. You can accomplish anything you want, right? You just have to believe it. Um, you manifest what you believe you deserve. So as long as you're believing in yourself, believing you deserve it, letting go of any negative energy, pessimism, um, I mean, jealousy, envy, whatever that would be, but just focusing on the golden city and the door, the opportunities coming your way, things are going to be beautiful for you here, Kansa. Now, for those of you with this as career, let's grab your soul card, shall we? There's a soul card here for Kansa. Oh, oh good. I don't want to have to get up. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't fall off the table. One sec. Protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. And on the bottom, study. Reading, research, and education help to gain the confidence and clarity about your career. Maybe you're taking some online courses, doing some reading. Okay. Now, for those of you who are talking about love, let's get your caring connection with this King of Wands or Queen of Wands coming into your energy. What's the caring connection between Cancer and this newbie? Guilt. Ah, don't let guilt get in the way of your happiness. Hell to the nah, to the hell to the nah. Okay, Cancer, let's get your potential outcome. Let's just move these first because they're in my way. Now, 
when I say potential, look what's on the bottom too, the hermit and the knight of wands, following your passion. But when I say potential, there's always free will, darling. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. When I say, oh, come, where are you in a month? How you doing? How are things progressing? Spirit guides, where's cancer in a month? How are they? I was going to repeat the same thing, but there's no point in that. Dream come true, wish fulfillment, the star, the chariot, forward moving, overcoming obstacles, S-U-C-C-E-S-S. That's the way we spell success. That was my cheer when I was in high school. Let's just pretend I didn't do that. But we got death and rebirth in reverse. We got the four of pentacles in reverse. Okay, one more to go with that. Judge. Oh, I see. Oh, the empress. You're the empress and you know it. What's under that empress? The emp Holy motherfucker. Cancer. I know you see it, baby. I know you see this. So for those of you who do this love, this is definitely a power couple. This is your person. This is husband, wife materials written all over it. This is potential. Uh, this is two people who know who they are um, and they know their value and their worth and they're compatible. Now, for those of you where this is business, you're bossing up, baby. You're simply getting in touch with your feminine, as masculine aspects of yourself. You're in a leadership role. Um, it's a good partner. It's a good team. These are good bosses. This is where you're in a leadership position and people respect you. They like you. You're not the dick boss that everybody is working for. We've all had one of those motherfuckers in our life. Um, and maybe you've had that person and you learned exactly who you don't want to be. But there's a lot of wish come true, dream fulfillment. There's a lot of overcoming obstacles, barriers, and challenges to get exactly what you want. I feel you're releasing any kind of self-doubt. The judgment in reverse is an energy of doubting yourself. Uh, it could be even imposter syndrome here with this death and rebirth in reverse, but you're letting it go. There could have been a resistance. There could have been... You know, when we had that hermit, the death and rebirth in reverse is a resistance to let go of old stories, whether it's old situations, old people telling things about yourself, you know, insulting yourself or, or thinking you're not good enough, just whatever that energy would be. But the four pentacles is in reverse means you're letting that go. No longer will cancer doubt themselves and no longer will you doubt it happen. Because I got that feeling back there where you're wondering, is this ever going to happen? You've let that go. Um, you know that you create your reality. You know, your thoughts create your reality. And you know that if you believe it. You're going to get it. That's what I got. We got power couple in the house or we got a really powerful cancer stepping into their energy and their powers here and making things happen. Cancer, that's what you need to know right now. Your life is going to look very different here in the near future than it does right now. You have a lot of changes coming through and you're going to like it, baby. You're going to like it. So cancer, that's what's up. That's what's going down. That's what I have. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. And if you do like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Cancer. I always appreciate your support. Truly, truly do. Let's close your reading off with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What is the answer for Cancer? What we got, baby? Yes. Getting exactly what you want. That's what I have, Cancer. I truly wish you... Oh, man, my camera fell. I'm so sorry, guys. That drives me nuts. I should check it during the reading, but I don't. All right. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.